Hello guys, so the first part I will be talking about here is going to be the settings. And basically what I'm going to be talking about first is going to be the cinematic mode or durable mode. The game will default put you in cinematic mode when you first launch the game. And basically it will be like a fully zoomed in mode and will like zoom in a little bit further when you're when you're like setting still. This is not a very good setting. It's kind of a troll. It looks cool, but it's not really that good for it for a variety of reasons. So you generally want to stay with the with the normal mode. But even with normal mode, on default it will be zoomed in like this as well. The only upside is that like when you're standing still it won't zoom in even further. So so you have like a little bit of more of awareness. The reason why you want to screw out like all the way once you swap to this, you can see in a little bit. So here I stand next to the wall. I'm trying to look around the wall and I can like barely see it when I fully zoomed in. So this is like fine, but if you fully zoom out, you can see that you can see around corners much easier. And this is also good too, making sure you don't get flanked by enemy units or stuff like that. Always keep your angle horizontal to the ground as well, that way you can see further. When it comes to other, you can just let whatever settings you want, you can remove numbers if you want to. The camera reset speed is basically designed to make your camera return to its normal size. It seems that the recently fixed the bug that made that important, but still just always set it too fast in case there is like a bug that can still exist. When it comes to the graphics, you want to keep particles on low or off. Off is hard because it makes traps invisible. Shadows are always off. The most of the other things are whatever, it doesn't really change it that much. Vegetation on low, that's important. You want the physics simulation as low as you can. You want the light effects and scene detail as low as you can. You want your volumetric clouds off, final reflection. Most of these don't really matter that much. When it comes to the kill cam, it is very important to turn it off. If you don't turn it off, it will look like this. Your hero will be camera locked when you use the ultimate of Poax and Dual Blade. However, if you turn it off, it will be a very big difference where your camera remains in its original position. It doesn't look as cool for obvious reasons, but you can be aware while you're ulting them. It's very important. When it comes to the auto aim, like the assisted aiming, this seems to be pretty helpful, but it's actually not as good as you would think. So first, it doesn't really affect dismounts or does it affect like um, our target abilities. Some abilities, for example, are like the butterfly or like the sword shield from short sword. If you're too far away, it doesn't really affect it that much. But if you're like kind of close to the enemy hero, it will actually do that targeted throw. This is like um, a good crutch way because you don't really have to aim to kind of throw in the direction. But the problem with this ability is that it is like fairly unpredictable. So when it comes to playing at a higher level, you want to turn off like both the assisted aiming for units and hero because it can be very bad if you're like trying to go specifically for like an enemy specialty unit or stuff like that. And you're gonna start hitting to your side. You're like, what the what the hell? <laughs> so. Make sure to turn this off. This is pretty important because lots of players will think that's the way it's supposed to be, but you don't, you don't really want that to happen. Same thing with Pike. Pike is affected by this as well. For other settings, such as the UI or like the sensitivity, just make sure that you will feel comfortable doing it. Like with the sensitivity specifically is that you need to be able to turn your screen 180 degrees like without like feeling comfortable you know so like you want to make sure that you don't over tune it but make sure that you can still turn your screen at a pretty good speed if you need it and most of the other settings are kind of similar principle is that as long as you feel comfortable with the settings you should be fine <laughs>